Deafening. 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 Do this. Indestructible. Song number one on, on the album. So we wanted to start off with, you know, the message that you can do anything. Everything around you might be crazy and, and things are, are falling down on you and, and, and it feels feels like the world is 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 collapsing, then you, you still have that kind of strength deep within you that no one can take away from you um, it's just it's just the core of yourself and that is indestructible it's about uh, believing in yourself uh, nothing is gonna bring you down and am I am I just saying the lyrics <laughs> I remember when uh, Marcus first uh, showed us the song and the, the first demo was just him playing his guitar and singing and uh, we were all blown away and uh, everyone was thinking, holy shit, this is gonna be so good. Strings, choirs, even church bells. I think we did a good job like portraying that, you know, mighty feeling of being indestructible when everything is against you, you rise up and try to continue on. Dead tomorrow, don't wait. On stuff. Do what you want to do and do it now. Um, I just want to live life today because we all can be dead tomorrow and that's the truth. Appreciate every moment that you have, be thankful for it and also try to make the most out of everything. Also the video is, I mean like it's 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 one of our, one of my favorite videos that we've ever done. Car do you say carpe diem in English? Catch the day, yeah that's what it's about. Um, live every day like it would be your last. So good fucking music, banging beat and a song that you can head back to. That's what we wanted to make. We just wanted to have a good time with this song, like make the listener experience fun and excitement in one package. A banger, honestly. It's uh, it's so positive, it's so uplifting, it's so, en so encouraging, it's everything that we wanted to to give the rock audience right now. Right, I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna say a lot about the videos because those are really good times. We, we had this stereo, we played our song out loud so we could dance to the music and people were walking by and we were just like being dorky. Yeah, everyone was watching, people were in the, their windows with their phones and like recording us. You almost cringe inside at first, but then you're like, fuck it, uh, let's do this, let's have some fun. And that's what the song is about. Vampire. Um... This is a special one. I really like that song. It's one of our m more uh, pop-like songs. Uh, it's really fun to try something different. And uh, what is it about? Like, uh, what is it about? I gotta ask Marcus about this. It's about um, being in a relationship or having like a, a relationship in, in some sorts where the highs are super high and the lows are super low and there's nothing in between. It's just like being on top of the world and down in the bottom of everything. Um, and it's, it's, it's about that kind of like when someone bites you and, 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 um, and you become a vampire, basically you get superpowers, but you are dead too. So like it's, it's, it's that kind of, um, I took that and, and felt like it could, it could fit in that story. Um, so that is what that song is, is about. Um, we actually jammed this, um, when we when we did our jamming session in July last year, the the intro guitar dum dum gang dum gang is actually recorded from when we did the live session. So for some reason, everything everything sounded like shit. But for some reason, I played that really good. <laughs> uh, and also that ding 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 synth thing that Joan did is also from the jam session. Pretty scaled down like drums and guitars that they're not quite as heavy as the usual stuff but I think it came out pretty great and the lyrics is fantastic by Marcus so yeah. Deafening. It's a loud, energetic, fast, 
pumping rock metal song and uh, and I think that the deafening thing really suits that kind of sound it was the first thing that I thought about when I heard the track I was like okay this is cool it should be like something extreme something that feels um, feels uh, loud and, and crazy and I think that deafening is, is really is really bringing that that together with, with the track and the lyrics and, and the singing and everything really proud of it it's really cool I really really love the chorus um, and also it's nice to be able to scream a little bit I mean like we're we're not um, we, we feel like we want to we want to scream when it feels like it's supposed to be a scream or it's supposed to be energetic and 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 aggressive in that sense um, and this one felt like yeah this is this is the one this this is absolutely the one that we're gonna take to 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 the more metal uh, uh, way of, of singing there so I mean like super cool to be able to do that on this song fuck yeah I love that song I've said it before I cannot wait to play it live if you've heard it you you can understand what I'm saying this we wanted to capture the feeling of standing on stage and hear people sing your songs and sing your lyrics we're like longing for playing live and get that, that experience and this song is like an homage to experience that kind of feeling that we hope to do when we get to play live. We asked ourselves what's this album gonna be called? Deafening because we are loud and it's also from from this song that the whole kind of flag concept from. Push Me to the Edge a couple of years ago, I think it was like 10 years ago now or something. Um, I went to I went to a thing where you can where you can play your songs um, to a, to like a jury or someone that that can listen and, and give you tips of, of how how to how to proceed and how to get better basically. And uh, I think someone in the in the jury kind of um, misunderstood that. I was I wasn't the producer of the song. Um, I was the I was the singer also, and he said to me that you should change your singer because he he thought that I was producing. I was like, well, I'm singing, so, <laughs> and he, he just got silent. And I think that that sparked something in me that I really wanted to prove him wrong. Marcus describes his experience perfectly in the lyrics. And, uh, if you listen closely to the lyrics, you you really can experience his uh, journey with uh, singing and songwriting and the obstacles along the way. Use the negativity from others to your advantage. The song is very motivational. It's fucking badass. This track to me sounds like. I've like in my head always wanted like the blending of drum and bass and metal to sound and I'm very happy with how it turned out and uh, it feels like a good continuation of how Blackout from the last album THUNDER! The ACDC ripoff um, honest to God, I didn't realize it until like a couple of days into the song and then I was just like, fuck it, we like it too much, we won't do anything about it. I really, I really dig this song. It's, uh, it's based around, I had a, I had a vibe of, um, of doing like a, a superhero theme for that song and that felt like, felt like it, it could suit one of the, one of the Thor movies maybe. Fun to do this kind of like more song that just feels like it's like an army marching in and just like so um, it was a very fun song very fun song to make I'm very happy with how it uh, turned out just like just feels like it's it's you know like a like a charge building the whole song and then it's just exploding in the middle we tried to like use samples and uh, actual sound effects to portray the the feeling of thunder. So if you listen carefully to the second chorus, there's actually a fuse sound to match the lyrics that Marcus is singing. Blow up. Totally energetic song. Yeah, this song is really intense to play on drums. Uh, note to self, do not play this live without warming up first. That's a death sentence. It's actually the first song that we've 
ever written from like nothing to you know like like a full song when we just jammed it it's just us jamming and singing shit over it and doing stuff and like a fun riff and blah 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 everything so yeah it's like a fun song it's fun to play as well fun to do fun did i say fun it's a fun song it's not as serious as maybe the others it's more like a imaginary vision of someone that's lurking you like come I can help you blow up like a label or like a, a drug or something that's bad for you but they promise good things and um, and uh, that's just our way to to express it and it's kind of a crazy thing crazy song one of my like favorite songs to to listen to by myself when I listen to the album we try to go as fast as we could and like blast through a song in uh, yeah a pretty short amount of time it's yeah it's super cool keep up with us is also one of the songs that we wrote in the like the jam session week first off i really to me i really like the chorus whenever i'm here i just wanna i just wanna jump and sing it the, the bridge in this song or the uh, pre-chorus uh, is probably one of my most favorite parts on the whole album. I mean, like we had to do something cocky. It's uh, it's 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 gone well for us. I mean, like we've we've done we we, we did some moves uh, for the last couple of years. Um, we've done well. I think that we deserve to do one cocky song. Try to keep up with us because um, we do the things that you cannot. <laughs> and uh, and maybe it's just. It's just a fun way to to uh, be a little bit proud of ourselves and a little bit cocky. Also, it's a, it's a bit fun for me as a lyricist to write those kind of songs because it's not it's not close to like where I am. Like this is not me as a person. I'm not I'm not thinking these kinds of things and I'm not. But it's fun to to be able to be that kind of strong human being in in that song and um, and that's really cool. Uh, we try to experiment with like, you know, tempo changes. So in the middle part, we have this uh, keep up with us themed uh, tempo increase. And it's really cool to like, you feel the tempo going faster and faster. And then you just, let's go. So Speechless. This song is also quite different from our other stuff because it borrows a lot of influences from like the 80s with the, like the uh, keyboard sounds and uh, yeah, the feeling in the melodies, and the backup choirs, and I think that's really cool. And then we have this like surprise ending of like releasing all the emotions at once. So if you stick by it, you get a nice reward in the end. It's more of a, how do I say, like vulnerable side from us, because a lot of times we're very like, come on, you can do it. It's motivating and it's strong and it's everything, but obviously we all have these uh, moments of doubt and uh, like a situation when when you're overwhelmed by something and maybe you're not as strong anymore, you know, vulnerable in that way. Um, and and I, I like that about about speechless because that's obviously a very big part of who we are and who you are as well. It's about imagining um, the feeling when we're going on stage for the first time. Like, we haven't toured anything yet. We have done almost four albums now and we haven't toured. Um, so, like, <laughs> the, the excitement just keeps building up. And uh, Speechless is, is imagining how it will feel seeing all of these people and being able to sing those songs for the first time. I'm like, I'm like super pumped for that. The speechless thing comes of just like seeing all of this and just not be able to say anything, just like be, able, just like feel it. A little bit like the feeling in Heavy Rain, where it's just like pouring down on you and you feel the nature, like the the, the depth and the the heaviness of the nature. Speechless is about like it's it's a bit the same thing there, just being overwhelmed with emotion, being overwhelmed with the situation, and um, in a positive way, um, and just you don't have anything to say, you're just gonna enjoy the moment. You know, it's easy to forget how far we have come from the moment when we first started. So we should always stop and 
appreciate our hard work. We need to appreciate our own effort more often. It's easy to let it slide and uh, we let all we should let all that positivity in because uh, we deserve it. Yeah, I think that's important.